Good day everyone. Hope everybody's doing great wherever you are in the world. Today I'm going to be playing with this um, underwater bubble effect. Underwater bubbles effect. I saw something about uh, the drops. Have you heard of it? So it's probably been going on for ages. I just, I just, <laughs> I find, I always find these things out too late. But uh, anyway, it looks pretty cool. Um, but I wanted to, and they, from what I've seen, um, they use the uh, chameleon pigment to to create the illusion of 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 the drops, you know, like droplets. But um, I thought I might uh, see how I go with just a regular turquoise pigment powder, mica powder, and just playing around with it, just seeing how it will work with this and maybe maybe try to simulate something that looks like drops. Oh, sorry, not drops, um, like bubbles, underwater bubbles. I have to interrupt myself here. These bubbles were created by just dropping um, drops of resin and then letting them set and cure. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to be playing around with it, just brushing this on. So obviously it's not sticking on the top, on the resin, but it's sticking all over the, the mold, <coughs> as it does. The silicon mold just paint goes really good on it. I mean, powder, and I, I do like this. I should have got another different color, but I didn't, and I don't have it here. So I'm just gonna go with what I have. Right? Oh, that looks, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? All right. Now here, and I could go with, uh, actually give me a minute, I have to go back in the house and grab some. Okay, so I've got my acrylic pen here, and it does not have a lot in it. It's really hard to see now, but what I want to do is, I just want to put a little, like a white dot on each of these. Oh, it's so tiny little ones, they're so cute. So I'm just wiping off if there's some um, powder on there, you know, because I don't want to wreck my pen. And let's just pretend that the light is coming from over there. So we're just going to put like a little dot or a line. It doesn't have to be a dot, but this, it just does not like it. Look at me. I can't see now if it's there or not. Oh, flip it over. Oh, yeah, it's, oh definitely there so I just gotta go around I was gonna go to the house and get oh my gosh come on it's had enough this one I should go in the house and get oh look at that I got see this is what I do violent woman settle down I'm making a mess everywhere that's right I can dip in here now I do my dots or lines. See, that's pretty good. Dots on the little ones and lines on the big ones. Ooh. It's hard to see. Yeah. Oh, can't see that one. I should probably do a tiny little dot on the other side as well. It's like a reflection type thing. It'll just add to it, I think. And it's fun. It's fun to be doing something different, you know. I like, uh, you know, getting ideas and then turning them into something else. Like that. 
I don't know, we're gonna have a closer look and see if it looks like anything decent because at the moment I can't really see probably I'm just sort of winging it <laughs> let's flip it over see if I can see anything on the other side I think it's alright all right, so I'm gonna do the same here before I put anything on because I want to be able to see and it's hard to see with with the thing on so I'll speed this bit up okay so that's done we'll continue with this so i was just thinking just then while i was looking at things and how this will work i i was wondering if i should just do the black background but then i thought then my drops will be black because there's nothing on them nothing sticking on them and my drops keep calling them drops my little bubbles they will be black and they won't look like bubbles so i'm gonna leave them as they are so i'm just gonna go around and paint this blue which is a turquoise blue by lovers of course and think about what to name these little beautiful gorgeous holographic um, chameleon actually these are chameleon and then I've got some beautiful tinsel glitter I've got to name them so maybe you can help me out I might actually even do a little competition thing in the in the group for people pick a name for you know for a pigment or a glitter in this case and the one that I choose that suits best, obviously it's got a suit, um, gets a jar for free. How about that? Does that sound like a good idea? I think it's like a fun idea. It'll help me out and you get a free glitter. How's that? How about that? Oh, sip of my lovely cold coffee. I made this coffee about two hours ago and I'm still sipping on it because I keep getting sidetracked with things. But it actually doesn't taste bad because it's uh, starting to warm up. So I don't really want a hot coffee now. So I'll keep going with this. Probably going to take me another five minutes because I keep fiddling with it. And then I will be back okay that is done i just want to flip it over and just shake off any excess pigment and then wipe it if you're doing this just please be careful don't breathe in this just all these little particles that fly over all over the place so be careful okay right so i think it's time now to mix our resin and see where it takes us okay so what i just thought i might do is i might try and throw in some of this beautiful holographic tinsel look at that but i want to try it out first of course being me too oh now it doesn't want to stick i need something to stick it on just for the moment here we go um need gloves to start with because I have an idea of what I want to do, so I better get my glove on, glove up, girl, and then get a little bit on my fingers, just a little bit, and then go like that. I can always wipe it off. I just want to see what it looks like on the other side, you know. Just chuck some on. Okay, and now. When I flip it over, I just want to see if does it still look like a, like a drop. Can't see anything. It does like looks like a little little bit of tinsel. I don't know. Can you see anything? That one there. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe um. Some of the 
Yes. And a bit of both. I'm going to do a bit of both. A bit, blah, blah, blah. a bit of both. Try not to. Oh my gosh, there's a glitter everywhere. Little bits of glitter. All the little tiny ones have all fell out. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to. I leave some. Okay, so this is an experiment anyway. So I'm going to leave some. Where's my. Oh, here it is. I'm going to leave some with and some without. So let me grab a little cup. And a couple of little cups. I'm just going to grab a little bit of red and put it in there. And this one as well. Probably should have got a bigger cup, but anyway. You do these things. Maybe they drop that. And then get another stirrer. These will do. Let's not waste these because these these are chameleon glitters. They're not cheap. So we don't want to waste any of them. Can go in there. Or we can just go in there. There we go. Done. Um let's get some. Mix it in. Don't think I will need a lot. So this one is so beautiful. It's got like a pastely colours. Blues and purples and pinks and golden. So right, that's that one. And then in here I'm just gonna put this tinsel, which is gorgeous. I might actually mix it in with this tinsel as well. This one is a more of a teal colour. Greenish teal. Oh my god, look at that. I can't believe that I turned into a glitter lover. I was always like, glitter? No. Not me. Anyway, I've got to turn these over. Let me just wipe this. I can't stand some mess everywhere. Let's clean it. Chuck this one out. All right, because they're going to be like that. And this is going to be like that. Right, let's go. How are we going to do this one? Maybe start up here with the glitter. Let it spread, and I'm going to do the same here. And I will leave some clear bits as well, you know, just so that I can see. And then let's get rid of all of that. Whatever I don't use, I'll flip it over here. And then we're going to do this one. Oh, gosh, that's gorgeous. I don't even know if you can see that. So nice. A candy. Oh, wow, that's looking so cool. I will sort of stir them in a little bit together so that they mingle and mix a bit. I'm just going to flip over here. I've just got a mould here that I can... So let's just do this. I'm just going to give them a little... And now, of course, I can't flip it over, so I can't see what's going on on the other side. But this side looks pretty. And you know what? If I don't like my the way the bubbles look on the other side, then I can always enjoy this side, can't I? Why not? I'm 
there. And now, let's just do the rest with the clear. Wow, those bubbles look really cool on this side. They sort of totally disappear. As, oh, of course, I knew that was going to happen. Wow, that's so cool. And I, I think, wow, they look cool too. Okay, let's do this one. Just adding bit by bit because I don't want to disturb these too much. That looks so good. Did I blend these? I can't remember if I did or not. Maybe just a little bit. Spread them around a bit. Spread it out a little bit. Down here. Wow, well, that looks so cool. I think I am going to get some white. But I'm not going to use too much heat, if you know what I mean. Let's get some more of this. Just going to make sure that it's Oh, this one's good. This one here, yep, yeah. it's also good. All right, how interesting! I love this glitter. Oh, god, candy sprinkle. My daughter came up with the idea of the sprinkle. And uh, I thought about candy, 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 and she says candy sprinkle. I was like, yay, that's it. So, so far, this is the only one that I named. And the other ones are poor little orphans that still need a name, like these beautiful tinsel. Um, yeah, that's looking cool. So, wondering if I should. Yeah, those, they actually do look like bubbles in there. That's so cool. Really cool. All right, let me think what I'm going to do next. Let me think. Okay, so I decided to go with a little bit of pearl white. Not my angel white. Angel white is too heavy. I think that the pearl white will work great. And I only need a tiny little bit, so I don't want to use too much of it. And stuff it up just for a couple of waves. I know it's deep. My my friend Laura will be watching and she'll say, Don't do it in it's too deep. I know I'm not gonna touch it, I'm just gonna put the lines down and let let it move by itself. And I do want a little bit of sparkle here, but I don't want the glitter here. So I'm going to get some. Um where's my little spoon? Here it is. These little spoons, look how tiny that is. They're great for powders and things like this. I do have some in the shop. Grab some because I'm, I'm running out. And they come in a pack of 50. So what I'm going to do is, I suppose you could like blow it. and But I'm just going to sprinkle. Once again, this stuff is so light and it's, you know, it flies everywhere. So I am just going to sprinkle it around like this. Very fine powder it's it's very shiny and shimmery this one's called stardust stardust it's more silvery go away fly bugger off jeez louise um 
there is uh, I've got another couple I used to sell a lot of different ones but I've decided to keep the stardust and the sun catcher which is more golden um, no it's actually beautiful it gives you that beautiful splash of gold and and a bluish one which is also really nice very pale blue you get and they look like this just white so you don't know until you you know pop them in and have a look okay so i'm just going to use my dirty thing um, stick and just go away fly my goodness so it's giving it a really nice shimmer but it's not taking away from the it's not making it look murky or anything it's just giving it that really really nice silvery kind of a shimmer that you get in the water when the sunlight hits it and that's that and a little bit here just kind of stirring it in yeah, and if it falls down it will be great because it'll just be really nice with these little bubbles yep it's going down that's great gotta do some more here Now, I am going to go with the white. I hope I don't bugger it up. And if I do, don't curse me, because I will do another one and fix the, the situation, fix the problem. Here's my white Here it is. Okay. Let's get some pearl white and see what we do here. Now, that's already nice as it is, but I'm, I'm trying to create a scene, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I had a pommy moment. All the English people out there knows what that means. A pommy. I love my pommy friends. Just like I love my Yankee friends. <laughs> ah, dear me. Anyway, um, here we go. So it's looking pretty thick, but anyway, we're going to see. Oh, my lordy lordy. Let's do it. Let's just do a little line here. Maybe this is too thick. I do not know. But we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Come on. Ooh. I probably should have gone with go over. Wow, right, well that looks pretty I should, oh, I should have done um uh, uh, um what do you call it? What do you call the bloody thing? I probably should have gone with it, like a piping bag. I, I would have, I would get a smaller. Um, oops! Don't do that. Let's see what it does. It's not doing anything at the moment. Well, it, it will move because that's what it does. But only anyway, let's go again. I'm going to give it a couple of nice sort of diagonal ones. Let's see. I might even go up here. Should be interesting. I'll go up here actually. That's pretty. Might even do it here as well, why not? Okay, let's do this one now. It's really thick. See that thin? That's how it should have been. 
Um, so hopefully now they will move. I don't want a puddle there. Yeah, no. Um, should I use the heat gun just a little bit, actually? Um, it's just a second. Alright, I'll, I see, that's move, it's moving down, okay, righto. I'm going to use the heat gun just to heat it up. I like it, it's really pretty and delicate. I don't like the tinsel, few of them, five, six of them that just decided to come down here. But anyway, we'll see what, how it goes. I don't want to do too much. It already looks good. I like the way it looks. I'm going to add some of this um, aquamarine just for the fun of it, just down here. I could even later on just add some metal drop. Can't really miss. Now you can see them a little bit because it's quite clear there. You can see it on this this side, so it'll be interesting to see. How, so you know you can use both sides. Both sides look great. Isn't that amazing? I'm trying not to go over my bubble. It's going to go somewhere. Spots that I don't have anything. It looks kind of bare. Right. I'm going to be sitting here monitoring this because I want to make sure that should connect there and that should connect there and there. See, it's moving and it's moving that way. Which is not a bad idea because it'll create like a natural wave going there. See that one that sort of fell apart. Maybe I can add a bit more to it. That's nice, looking cool. I like it. I don't mind that at all. I just don't like it that it's not connecting with this. It wants to do its own thing. Listen to me. I'm the boss, okay? It's sort of dropping, but it's yeah, it's interesting what it's doing. I'm gonna go and add some more here I'm actually dragging this just skimming it off the top because I want a nice line and it's clear so I'm not going to be dragging color with it so that's why I'm doing it if I go off the top I get those blobs and uneven sort of areas so that's why I'm just pulling it like this and hopefully connect it to that there. It's just going to give me a 3D, see, because that's already happening there. So I'm just going to go straight over that. And I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see what I'm doing here. This one I'm going to go here. The resin that I'm using is the platinum high temp 100 it will set fast and it's a good one for a project like this because you want you want it to set pretty fast and not you know muck around with it this is where i'm creating like a 3d sort of oh that nearly dropped there luckily it dropped on the the mold itself Ooh. I mean, not a lot but there's plenty to play with yeah, I wouldn't be able to do this if I was using the angel white and angel white is great for the doing the 
waves and that and foam and all of that sort of stuff on a on a flat on a flat surface but this is you know it's deep it's about I don't know half a centimeter not even about four three four millimeters thick but this I'm hoping to get some really cool effects and you can already see it all happening there. Pulling that one out. So if I anchor it, or try to anchor it, hopefully the side will hold it and then I'll just take that off. That's what I'm trying to do because I don't want it pulling away from the sides. It just looks weird, you know. That one there wasn't happy with that, just decided to go on its own. Ah, stay there. Because the resin, it's it's leaning that way, that's why that's sort of pulled. But that's all right. I've made it look a little something different. Sort of fixed it a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to add some more there because I can see that that is disappearing. So I'm just going to go here. Very interesting. A little bit goes a long way, doesn't it? All right, wow, that's looking really interesting. Oh, that's looking interesting too. I'm not sure about that up there, but. Maybe I can give it some, um, maybe I can give it some, oh. not too much. Right, I'm happy with this, it's doing some great, amazing things. Not so happy with that. I'm going to keep going with it. I'm going to mix up some more. Um, oh, hopefully this is not... Oops. Oh, this one's about to set up on me. It's not good. Put it in there. Okay, so I'm back. I had a little think. And I had to get rid of some of the resin that was starting to go hard on me. So I decided to just pour it over something. And whoo, this is getting pretty hot. I decided to mix up some... Um, satin white powder and put that on top i'm going to see if this is going to because it's it's a brighter white just to sort of give this a little bit of uh, contrast anchor it there okay, it's really thick now because you know it's almost cured this resin is great, but once it starts to thicken like this, it's, it just takes minutes before it's solid. So it's not cured completely, but it, it will set very fast. So this is a different pigment again. Put it 
Let's see, this one just disappeared. So I'm just layering it. And hopefully this will give it a different kind of, um, this one's no good. A different dimension. This one's moving that way, and that was moving that way. It was moving that way before, now it's moving this way. It's really strange. I will use the heat gun just to move it a bit. Okay, uh, heat gun. Okay, try not to make a terrible mess here. It's not moving and it's not going anywhere, but it'll soften things a bit. I do need to soften things a bit myself. I, I'm gonna, you know, watch it, but I think, I think it's gonna be okay now. Alright, we're not touching it anymore. It is what it is, let's see what happens. And, um, I don't like that. Hmm. Anyway, yep, yep, yep. I know I said it about a hundred times, but I shall be back in a couple of hours. This should be ready. Bye. Okay, several hours later. I'm not disappointed in the design. Look at that glitter. But my my bubbles are really see-through. I'm getting some pretty colours there. Okay, let's undo this one. Like I said, I'm not disappointed, and I knew that I was going to get these daggy bits, but they come off easy enough. Ah, sugar, that's sharp. Very transparent. Oh my gosh, I love that glitter. That glitter is amaze balls. But my bubbles are like just holes. It's just like Swiss cheese. <laughs> oh, good. Good experiment. I, I love the waves. Love the waves. And the other side. Pretty interesting.